Hello, this tutorial will explain how Photo VCarve can be used to calculate toolpaths for making lithophanes. First we're going to load an image file, so this can be any digital photograph or image. Let's use the Cute Puppies JPEG from the samples folder on the PhotoCarve install. Select the file, the photograph appears in the three dimensional view. Now we can move on to step two, so we set the material size. Let's say for example we wish to cut this design 8 inches wide and the, the height is automatically adjusted to keep the correct proportions for the image. So we've got a design that's 8 by 6 inches. I'm going to cut it into a piece of quarter inch thick material and apply. Step 3 is now available, so now we can set the cutting parameters. Here we're going to calculate a roughing toolpath to get rid of some of the stock from the quarter inch thick material. So I'm going to select an eighth of the 8th inch ball nose cutter and here we've got the the cutting depth, the diameter, the speeds and feeds except that's all. The carving max depth for lithophanes will always be between 0 0.08 of an inch and 0 0.1 of an inch. Line spacing, because we're roughing out leave this at about 50 percent. We're going to cut it at 45 degrees this is actually a, a, a very useful tip because the first pass will be in this bottom right hand corner the tool will plunge in and then it will step over 50% so there will be very little load on the cutter if you run parallel to an axis the first toolpath plunges in in the bottom left hand corner and then you have full a full cut of, at full depth load on the tool which will sometimes break the tool so 45 degrees very important that we have the invert light dark areas this must be checked what this does is the light areas in the photograph will be cut thinner they will be cut deeper into the material allowing more light to pass through and the dark areas these will be the more material will be left on so less light will pass through to create the lithophane effect we can have a rapid clearance gap of a quarter of an inch and calculate the toolpath so it's calculated the Photo VCarve is now simulating the toolpath and that will be the result. So we can twiddle that round and zoom in. Very rough surface finish, but it's just a, a roughing toolpath, so we don't we're not concerned about the finish. And we'd save this toolpath. So we'd select the post processor that we wish to use. So the machine, let's say G code inch, save the file, let's call this rough free and save the file to disk okay next we're going to calculate the finishing toolpath so we go back to set cutting parameters select the tool this time we need to use a, a smaller tool and ideally the smaller the tool the more detail and the better the lithophane effect will be I'm going to show you how to create a smaller Bornos tool so we're going to copy the properties for this 8th inch tool so copy this gives us a duplicate of the, the original tool. This time we're going to use, say, 40 thousandths diameter, 0 0.04. We'll change the, the description to be 0 0.04 of an inch. And we'll call this the finishing toolpath. Again, speeds and feeds for the material and apply. So finish, select that tool leave the carving max depth to 0.1 but this time we reduce the line spacing to around 15% because we want a good smooth finish still cut at 45 degrees and have the invert light and dark areas calculate calculated the toolpath now simulating the toolpath you can see now if we zoom in a much smoother uh, finished result on the material. So finally, we'd save this toolpath. So save the same post processor. Save. Give this a name. Save it to disk and run it on the machine. So it's very simple. If you're cutting thinner material, let's say for example material size. Let's say for example we had a piece of eighth of an inch material. We could finish machine it in one go without any roughing step. 
so we'd say apply set cutting parameters select the tool so we'd go straight for our small ball nose tool the smaller the better always about 0.1 or 0 0.08 of an inch range 15% step over and calculate and this would this single tool path could be cut into the material okay that uh, concludes the the tutorial if you have any questions or you need more assistance with this please take a look at our forum or send a, an email message to support at vectric.com thank you